जी हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मोहम्मद जियाउल्लाह राठौर आई एम टीचिंग इन गवर्नमेंट एस एल कॉलेज मेरपुर खास टुडे वी विल लर्न द एल्कली एलिमेंट्स फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस स्कीम ऑफ वर्क आवर टॉपिक इज एल्कली एलिमेंट्स द ग्रेट इंटर क्लासेस in this topic we will learn the alkali elements and the group trend in the group trend we will learn the atomic size ionization potential electronegativity and how alkali elements react with water stru structure electronic electronic configuration the reaction of alkali element with sodium with potassium and other elements and the trend of density the trend of melting point the flame test use of alkali elements and at the end of lecture uh, uh, assessment with mcqs the learning of the outcome of this uh, uh, lecture the student will be able to define the and explain the alkali elements the trend atomic size ionization potential electronegativity density melting point structure and the reaction the flame test and uh, the use of alkali element in this lecture i will use the presentation animation and as well as the video an assessment uh, uh, in this lecture uh, a student will be assist by uh, at the end of the lecture a few mcqs and the resources of uh, powerpoint animations and uh, uh, the books the alkali elements are present at extreme or left of the modern periodic table yes these elements are called alkali elements you can see lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and chromium these elements are called alkali elements and these are present in first a group the first element of first a group of alkali element is lithium second is sodium potassium rubidium cesium and last is francium elements all the alkali elements if you look uh, the electronic configuration of alkali elements all the alkali elements have one valence electron electronic configuration of lithium it has two electron in first shell one electron its outermost shell this one electron sodium atomic number 11 it has two electron in first shell eight electron in second shell and one electron its outermost shell and the potassium it also has one electron and other elements of the same group they have one electron in their outermost shell due to the same number of valence electron they all form the positive ions and positive one charge ion these all elements they have same so same number of valence electron that is why these all element they have similar physical and chemical property and what is the meaning of here the similar chemical and uh, and physical property in sense these all element they form basic compound these all element they are highly electropositive these all element they have low ionization potential these all element they have low electronegativity so so all the elements they have similar chemical and physical properties but a trend is present which one is more electropositive which one form more a uh, uh, more a strong base the trend of alkali elements depends upon the atomic size if we have the command on atomic size then we can understand the ionization potential electronegativity density melting point and other properties so what is the trend of atomic size in modern periodic table the atomic size is increasing from top to bottom the first element is the lithium it has only two shell sodium 3 potassium 4 and the number of shells are increasing from top to bottom in the modern periodic table as the number of shells are increasing the atomic size will also increase increasing so in the same group the atomic size is increasing from top to bottom the reason is that the shielding effect the reason is that the electrostatic force of attraction decreasing from top to bottom next 
the ionization potential and what is the trend of ionization potential in modern periodic table or especially in the first day group element and then element the from top to bottom atomic size is increasing and ip value or ionization potential depends upon atomic size first we discuss what is the definition of ionization potential we have already learned in first year classes the energy required to remove electron the outermost shell this is lithium element and this lithium element has one electron its outermost shell to remove this one electron from outermost shell the energy required this required energy is called ionization potential or ionization energy and second element is sodium it has one electron to remove this one electron the energy required this is called ionization energy so the amount of energy required to remove electron from lost shell is called ionization energy and if electron is near to the nucleus if you look the lithium element is electron is very close to the nucleus than the sodium so ip value of lithium is greater than the sodium and sodium than the potassium so a smaller atom has a high ionization potential than the larger atom this is because in similar atom the electrostatic force of attraction is high so as the atomic size decrease the ionization potential increase and if atomic size increase the ip value will decrease so it is very easy to remove electron from large shell if the size of atom is larger so ionization potential value will decrease from top to bottom the next property is electronegativity and we have already learned in first year classes it is the tendency it is the ability of an atom to attract the shear pair of electron towards itself is called electronegativity and uh, uh, we know the smaller atom it has high tendency to attract the electron towards itself than the larger atom as we move from top to bottom from lithium to cesium or francium this atomic size is increasing as the atomic size increase the electro negativity value will decrease and we can see the lithium elements is electronegativity 0.9 the beryllium carbon nitrogen oxygen chlorine and neon so lithium element is at it has 0.9 electronegativity and and other element of uh, the other group they have high electronegativity so the uh, alkali element they have low electronegativity next uh, uh, how do alkali elements react with water and what is the reaction of alkali elements this picture explains the reactivity of alkali elements highly reactive yes the reactivity of alkali elements uh, also increase down the group from top to bottom and what is the reason behind actually the atom of each element get the larger from lithium sodium potassium number of shells are increasing as the number of shells increasing the distance between proton and electron also increasing electron is more away from the center from the center and it is easy to lose electron and reaction is is very easy so the reactivity increase from top to bottom let's see this is uh, the lithium element and uh, if we put the lithium element into the water this is the reaction of lithium with water you can note down the reaction next element is sodium sodium element and if we place the sodium into the water this reaction is more faster and reactive than the lithium you can observe yes next the potassium element if you place the potassium element into water this 
which is much faster and high reaction than the sodium and the lithium. Lithium, then sodium, and sodium, then potassium. Means this reactivity is increasing from the top to bottom down the group. Next, the rubidium element, and if you put the rubidium into the water, it is much faster and produce enormous energy. No doubt, we can expect the reaction of cesium element, it is highly reactive then. So the reactivity of a first group element increase from top to bottom. Cesium is a highly reactive element. The student, I would like to uh, display a reaction of alkali elements with water. I have the video and you can uh, uh, note down the reaction of alkaline earth metal lithium element. When we place the lithium element into the water, The sodium element, if you place the sodium into the water much faster than lithium, and it reacts in second, nanosecond. Explosion in slow motion, you can observe. Yes, what will happen if we drop a huge chunk into the water? Yes. This is highly reactive. Enormous amount of energy produced. Yes. And if potassium element is placed into the water, it is much faster than other element and the rubidium. No doubt it must have the high explosive reaction. This reactivity is going to increase from top to bottom and if a huge chunk of the same element is placed into the water, no doubt it is a highly reactive element. And the cesium element is highly reactive, the much faster and produce enormous amount of energy. Enormous amount of energy. The reaction of the sodium with water, we have already uh, learn the sodium reacts with water and produce enormous amount of energy but what are the product when sodium reacts with water it produces uh, uh, sodium hydroxide alkali it is a strong base and the byproduct is hydrogen gas when potassium reacts with water no doubt it produces hydroxide potassium hydroxide and byproduct is hydrogen gas potassium hydroxide these are the alkali elements and we have to arrange in uh, uh, reactivity order. We have learned by uh, the animation and as well as the video what is the reactivity and which element has more, more uh, reactive element. Sodium, rubidium, francium, they are shovel and we have to arrange according to their reactivity order. Less reactive on the top and uh, most reactive at the bottom. So uh, I think lithium is the least reactive. Then sodium and then then potassium and then uh, rubidium and cesium and then francium. Check check out what is the answer. Yes, these all are correct. The general property of alkali elements, the alkali elements are uh, soft, they can easily be cut by knife. Softness increasing down the group. They have low density. They are elements low boiling point and hence all alkali metals do share a few properties with typical metal because as the nature they are metals and metals are good conductor of heat and electricity both and metals they have shiny surface. 
yes what is the trend of uh, uh, density from top to bottom you can see the density is increasing from top to bottom lithium has 0.5 less density and sodium 0 0.9 0 0.86 1.53 and 1.87 this density is increasing down the group in alkali elements the trend in melting point yes this melting point is decreasing from top to bottom and if question arises in examination if anyone asks why the melting point is decreasing from top to bottom and why lithium has high melting point and sodium potassium and the rubidium have low melting point respectively from top to bottom the reason is that the top to bottom the binding force decreasing the lithium the atoms of the lithium they have high binding force that is why its melting point is high and sodium has more binding force than potassium and potassium element has more binding force than the rubidium and cesium so melting point is decreasing from top to bottom because binding force is decreasing an element has high binding force it has a high melting point the reaction of alkali elements and no doubt alkali elements they react with air oxygen very immediately lithium element react with uh, uh, oxygen the slowly sodium the quickly and potassium is uh, very quickly the reaction of uh, lithium with oxygen from the oxide lithium oxide sodium sodium oxide potassium potassium oxide and uh, other elements of the same group react with, with oxygen instead from the oxide next how do you identify the alkali elements uh, uh, these elements they have a different different color and this is called flame test take out first lithium element yes if you place lithium compound in the front of the flame yes its, it's flame is the crimson a red next sodium element if we place the sodium compound in front of the flame its color is the bright orange yes we can identify the potassium in sodium sorry and next the potassium element the potassium compound is placed in front of the flame the color of flame is yellow yeah so these elements are identified by their color and this is called a flame test lithium the red flame sodium orange and potassium the lilac flame what are the use of alkali elements yes use of alkali elements and uh, how many use of alkali elements metal you can see blue we will ask an answer in this lecture we have learned the the group trend of elements reaction of alkali elements with water with the air and uh, uh, with the oxygen air means oxygen let's start the rapid fire first question if you know there is your hand yes how many electron do the alkali metals have in their outermost shell outermost shell means last shell one electron two electron four electron or seven electron if you know the lithium atomic number is 3 write down the electronic configuration 1s2 2s1 it has one electron its outermost shell and you know the sodium elements its atomic number is 11 its electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s1 it also has one electron in its outermost shell so i think uh, they have one electron yes it is correct second what is the charge of alkali metal if alkali metal have one electron in outermost shell no doubt they will lose only one electron so charge is plus 1 yes that's correct what is the correct order of reactivity of alkali metals from the least reactive to the most reactive 
and we have to give the a correct order sodium lithium or potassium sodium so potassium sodium lithium lithium sodium potassium lithium potassium rubidium i think lithium first then sodium and then potassium correct what is produced when alkali metal reacts with water yes we have placed the alkali metal in water and it produces this this means metal hydroxide and with hydrogen gas metal oxide no metal oxide and oxygen no metal hydroxide and and hydrogen yes that is correct next what are the product of the reaction between alkali metals and oxygen when alkali metals react with oxygen it form oxide the okay, reaction is oxide metal oxide which of these statement about alkali metal is not true it does it, it is not the correct you have to select the statement that is not correct and other are correct true as you go down the group as you move from top to bottom the number of electron a the number of electron in the outer motion increase b the outer electron is more easily lost and c the outer electron become further from the nucleus and the size of size of the atom increase which statement is wrong the number of electron in the outer motion increase no the number of electron in outer motions are same that is correct Next question number seven. Which of the following doesn't describe the alkali element? Means the, uh, the which properties not belongs to the alkali element? Shiny surface? No, it is a metal. It has shiny surface. Soft? Yes, it is. They are very soft. They can be cut. High density? No, alkali metals have low density. Good conductor is the nature of metals. So answer is C. Next. What is the trend for the reactivity of alkali elements? We have done in this uh, uh, lecture. The reactivity is increasing from top to bottom in the group. Down the group, the reactivity is increasing. That is correct. When added to the water, which alkali metal burn with little flame and produce the vesicles across the surface of the water? Lithium, sodium, or potassium? I think potassium. what must alkali metals be stored they are highly reactive they react with water they react with uh, uh, other substance so we place into the soil organic substance okay, student actually uh, these mcqs for you you have to answer uh, i have already planned the lecture but uh, at the end of lecture i ask the question and if the student uh, has uh, the uh, concept we have to answer at the end of then they concentrate the lecture i hope you will learn more and i will continue my lecture okay okay allah hafiz